guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. So, the seventh anniversary is not quite done yet. Um, here we are looking at the final unit that is going to be released for the seventh anniversary. Um, Goku Jr. and Vegeta Jr. get released alongside EZAs for LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Um, now this Goku Jr. and Vegeta Jr., immediately look at their stats. Their stats are so bad. 15,500 attack for a Rainbow LR is terrible. 10,300 defense is also bad. So it's like this unit is definitely going to easy A because they outright suck. Um, I am hoping that their easy A is really, really big though. Because again, just the way they're constituted right now, I just don't really see this unit being able to add too much uh, to the table. They're just really not that impressive. I mean, look at this, 120k defense, start a turn. So, okay, so this unit, so they're getting 70% attack and defense at the start of turn. They get 10% attack for every attack performed. This is a te that's terrible. I don't know what the hell they're thinking with that. Um, they get an additional one key per rainbow key sphere obtained. They give GT hero and world tournament category allies 10% attack and defense. This sucks. Um, then they have an additional attack that has a medium chance to be a super when collecting five key spheres. What? Uh, yeah, go back to uh, their links real quick. Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan, Saiyan Lineage, Shocking Speed, GT, Shouting Limit, and Legendary Power. Um, this is very bare bones, right? Um, so obviously, they're, we're going to need a lot more. Um, this is going to be a good turn in terms of their links. I guess hit that... Uh, put the Super Saiyan 4s in slot 1, and then hit that STR orb on the right. And that will open up. No, STR orb on the right. That's the left. Yep, right there. Um, and then... Okay, so this will give us a, a bunch of key. We're going to activate the 5 key spheres, so we're going to be able to get their guaranteed additional with the medium chance to super attack, which will be good. Um, and we can sort of see how this is going to work out. Um, if you're expecting good damage right here, uh, do not. <laughs> I guess I would say, right? Um, okay, so I'm trying to look at this unit and the obvious fact that they're going to EZA. The thing that doesn't make sense to me about this Goku Jr. and Vegeta Jr. right now is, like, why they even need... Okay, number one, why do they need the EZA right away, right? Like, we always hate that. Number two, like, why are they not releasing with their EZA as in the same day is also very bizarre. Three million... Okay. So, uh, okay. Um, they did a 3 million attack stat. Uh, they did have the guaranteed additional coming, so they could have triple supered. Technically, float off the, yeah, float that unit off. Technically, they do um, stack attack, so they'll, they'll be getting stronger, right? Like, you know, they're... They're going to be doing more damage as they continue on. Um, I don't... Yeah, I just... Like, what are they going to do with this unit? Like, I, if they... This unit is so much of a skeleton. It's it's so hard to tell. Because, you know, a bunch of these units um, have looked not really that great. And then they've easy would and they've still sucked ass. Goku and Chi-Chi. Zarban and Dodoria. Vegeta and Bulma. Units that, again, prior to their EZA, it's like, well, they're looking like shit, but they could be very good after the EZA, but then they're still shit. Um, I, there is the big example for myself, which is Tien and Roshi, where they were not that good prior to their EZA. They got their EZA, and they did take a massive leap. But it's like, I don't even know what they're... What are they going to do with this Goku Jr. and Vegeta Jr.? Like, I... They could give them... The easiest way to make them, like, actually good, I feel like... Just give them, like, the scouter, and, like, bam, we're cooking. Okay, so... Get the one physical orb. Okay, put the Super Saiyan Force in slot one. And get the one physical orb on the right right there. Yep, perfect. All right, so now we should be able to get a whole bunch of key with them right there. That's fine. Yep, that'll get us to 24. Go ahead and pop B-Pan's active skill as well. Um, that 118k defense. All right. Uh, after this, let's check their links too. I do think that their link set is actually not... I mean, they've got a lot of good links. Okay, we, Yeah, check their links. What are we looking like right here? So we have everything activated except for Saiyan Warrior Race. Yeah, again, that's... Like, if this unit becomes super good, if they become a support, like a better support, right? If they're... 
become an orb changer, if they get damage reduction, if they get, like, a high chance to dodge. You know, there's, like, a whole bunch of different tech that this unit could be given with their EZ that could make them solid. Because, again, you know, Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan, Saiyan Lineage, Shocking Speed, GT, Shattering Limit, Legendary Power, like, these are very, like, common... A lot of these are very common links with, like, major units. You know, they link up incredibly well with the LR Super Saiyan 4s, which is really good. Only 3.5 right here, huh? I guess B-Pan is not going to give them the craziest buff until a little bit deeper into the fight. Because, um, uh, you know, after they've stacked attack for a while. But, like, right near the start, I mean, they're only getting, what, 70% attack and defense at the start of the turn? Yeah, dude, that's that's so crazy. They're at 70% attack and defense with very low, like, stats. It's not like they're one of these summonable LRs that has, like, 22,000 attack or something like that. So, it just becomes a major issue. Um, You can float off the AGL pan. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys would like to see from Goku Jr. and Vegeta Jr. I definitely think that this is, a, like, a good idea for, like, an LR unit right at the end of the anniversary right here. I just hope that they actually make them good. Um, because the other three free-to-play units, again, the Goku and Chi-Chi, the Vegeta and Bulma, the Gohan, Trunks, and Goten, are not the craziest. Gohan, Trunks, and Goten, like, they're good, right? Like, I don't want to say that they're bad like the other two. Um, but they certainly could have been made better, right? Like, with the red zone, I really feel like what's going to help a lot of characters is giving them some sort of, of, of tech that will allow them to do something rather than just, like, Big attack and big defense. Because big attack and big defense just doesn't cut it in the red zone. It just doesn't at all. Uh, but the Super Saiyan 4 is in slot 1 again. And then this should be all links active, I believe. Uh, which should be pretty good right here. Um, so just get the... Grab the two... Uh, tech or Like, two the, the two tech orbs. Just grab the two... Yeah, that's perfect. Right there. Yep, yep. The two... Yeah. Yep, grab that. Yep. Okay, and then that will... So now we can get the EJL orbs with them. Perfect. Um, that'll get us close to... Yeah, yeah I do that one, because that'll get us... Either is five orbs, doesn't matter. Uh, is that all seven links for them? I don't know what the link set is of the uh, TUR, but... Yeah, um... Not really too much to say about this unit, man. Again, they're, they're a complete mystery. They do drop tonight, by the way. That's the thing about this data download is tonight we have LR Goku Jr. Jr. and Vegeta Jr. Then uh, we also have the LR Super Saiyan 4s are dropping tonight. Then in a couple of days we have uh, the Ginyu Force Dokkan Fest. Then next week we have the LR free-to-play EZA Ginyu, right? So it's like there's just so much going on right now um, with Dokkan. Like, it's crazy. I, I thought there was going to be a little bit of a lull period after the anniversary, but they were like, nah, like, let's just... We're just spamming so much stuff, right? Um, yeah, they didn't really look too impressive. Their TUR, of course, is not really good. I mean, that's not exactly a, a, a shock, I would say, that their TUR is not good. So, I don't know. I mean, let me know what you guys think of this free-to-play unit. Um, it's definitely going to be fun to get. I, they're definitely a world tournament buff. I, 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 I guess, right? Like... I, that could help uh, like the world tournament team has got like nothing man i don't know i don't know i i don't know i don't know what they're thinking like all these summonable units and easy a's during the seventh anniversary have just been so good right they've been so powerful but i mean then we just get this where these free-to-play units have just been ass so that's kind of a a bad trend because i feel like it's very easy to make very good and very solid uh, free-to-play units. And they didn't really accomplish that up to this point um, with the 7th anniversary. So we'll see if they'll be able to do it. I figure we'll get one more rotation out of Vegeta Jr. and Goku Jr. To see if they've, you know, sort of gotten damaged any better with them stacking attack and stuff. But I don't know. I'm not really, not really expecting too much <laughs> out of them. They're pretty bad. Because it's like, I, even their support buff. GT Hero and World Tournament allies 10% attack and defense? Like, come on, man. That is nothing. That's It's, like, so minuscule. Um, okay, use, a, a, like, a Senzu. We have, like, a Senzu item. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Um, put AGL Pan in slot 1. 
and then I guess hits like the the physical orb on the right right there. Yeah, that should allow us to get a bunch of those AGL orbs. And then grab the yep, perfect right there. Uh, yep. Yeah, grab that. All right, so let's see what damage they get right here. Remember that AGL pan does do a two-turn attack buff um, when they super attack. So that will be a little bit of extra damage. Again, the stacking attack uh, works a lot better when it's on a very powerful unit, not one of these weak mid units. So there's LR Goku Jr. and Vegeta Jr. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I'm um, not really too impressed, I would say. <laughs> They're bad, man. They're bad. That, that's it. All right. I'll catch y'all later. Um, they're bad. Very bad. Very bad.